Hi, Joe from Field and Forest Products here. Today we're going to talk about a very important consideration when cutting oak or limbs from oaks for mushroom cultivation. That consideration is oak wilt. Is oak wilt present in your area? If so, management of oak and timing a cut becomes very important because you do not want to spread this devastating disease. Oak wilt is a vascular wilt fungus, and that is, it chokes off the vessels that conduct water in the tree. It is spread two ways. The first way is by a bark beetle, which will pick up the oak wilt fungus from an affected tree and carry it to another tree. The important thing here is that the tree has to be wounded to expose fresh wood. And that wounding can be from pruning, from cutting, from storm damage. Anywhere there's access to the wood, the fungus can be introduced by the beetle. This is a very common way of long distance spread of oak wilt. The other way that oak wilt spread and is most common is through root graft transmission. Members of the same species root graft, that is the roots interconnect underground. And as a result of that, once the fungus is introduced into a tree, it can spread from tree to tree without any bark beetle acting as the vector. This creates pockets of dead wood known as an oak wilt pocket. Oak wilt is a very devastating disease and within a season, centuries worth of productivity in wood can be lost. On our farm, we have trees that predate the Peshtigo fire of 1871. Within a season, we've lost all that productivity. That tree was probably the source tree for the fungal mat that the beetle fed on to infest this tree that was injured when that tree fell onto it. From there, the fungus spreads. From this tree to this tree via oak, uh, via root grafting, and then this way to that tree, which is nowhere near another oak, infested probably by beetle transmission in a broken branch in the canopy. How do you know if you have oak wilt in your woodlot? One of the biggest keys is early leaf drop from a tree. If you start to see leaves turning brown and falling during the month of July and August, chances are that it's oak wilt. Another good key is that, for instance, if you have a fairly monotypic forest like we do of northern pin oak, if you see pockets of dead trees, chances are that's oak wilt. Unfortunately, if oak wilt does get established into your forest where you plan on cutting trees, infested trees do not make suitable wood for mushroom cultivation. The problem being is that oak wilt kills the wood, plain and simple. Uh, the water conducting vessels get plugged, the bark dries, and then therefore susceptible to falling off. So it's best not to use that wood because of all the time and effort that goes into inoculation. You certainly want to start with the best substrate possible. If you are going to be cutting oak, with, oak from your woodlot for mushroom cultivation, Check first with your local Department of Natural Resources to see if oak wilt is present in your area. If it is, chances are there are guidelines as to when you should not be cutting. In our area, it's not recommended that oak be cut from the 1st of April to the end of August due to the great potential of oak wilt being transmitted by the bark beetle. So this is a really good reason to cut during the dormant season. Typically, we like to harvest our wood starting in the fall of the year and ending by the 1st of March. If circumstances dictate that wood needs to be trimmed during the growing season, it's fairly important to get that wound covered with some sort of commercial wound sealant to prevent bark beetles from feeding on that oak tree. Most importantly, it's best to avoid any intentional pruning or cutting of oak during the growing season. <music>